Now here's where everything takes a turn. I'll never know whether or not I would have gotten accepted as an animator on the How to Train Your Dragon 3 film. Today is my final day at DreamWorks Animation. The last time I parked here, I'm Jason Sands, I'm a second I'm a supervising animator here at DreamWorks. Busy, so busy. So this is it. I'm on my way to return my key, my badge after the day. I'll be a mere mortal. <sighs> it's becoming real. It's hard to leave a place like this. Now I'm going to meet my first friend that I met here at DreamWorks. We both started on the same day and we've been friends ever since. It's been over two years now. Ah, you scared me. <laughs> Okay, so I just got locked out of my account, which means that my, my time here is over. I was trying to do emails and stuff, and my account went away. I'm out of the system. My office is not at all packed, so I'm gonna have to come back. Even though I don't work here anymore, I'm all frantic and frazzled, and I'm supposed to do a, like a going away party. And I'm already late to it. People are already there. I'm here, so I gotta go. I got hired at DreamWorks Animation on January 4th, 2016 as I started as a technical trainer and educator in the training and education department. My job was to teach software to whoever needed it in the studio. Sometimes people would just want to take Photoshop classes during lunch, other times I'd be teaching the animation software or teaching surfacing software, lighting, modeling, really anything just depending on who needs it to fulfill whatever parts of their job. Being in that role in that department was one of the greatest opportunities that I've ever had the pleasure of having. I learned so much, I met so many amazing people, I can't say enough good things about my time at DreamWorks. I was there for two years and everyone treated me incredibly. I've never been around so many talented, creative, amazing, kind, generous, genuine people ever in one spot but DreamWorks is just full of amazing, incredible people. This is not a video to throw any kind of shade at DreamWorks to say anything negative. They didn't fire me. I didn't leave on angry terms, like nothing like that. Only love for that studio because the people and the executives and everyone there is phenomenal and I only have gratitude and appreciation for my time there and for all the people there who made it so wonderful. Now my career is still pretty much just getting started. I was only at DreamWorks for two years, but in that two years, I made the most amazing friends. I learned way more than I ever thought would be possible to cram into that short of a time frame. And I had so many opportunities open up to me. Unbelievable things that I never thought I was gonna get to do, I got to do. And if you've been watching the series so far on how to become an animator as I document my journey to becoming an artist, becoming an animator professionally, here's the next chapter in that series. Now in case you're new to the channel and don't know yet, my goal is to be an animator. And if you've been watching the series so far, I'm basically journaling and documenting my process and how I'm getting there so other people can learn from my experiences. As some of you may have seen online, DreamWorks has actually been looking to hire some new animators for How to Train Your Dragon 3. In fact, I think a couple people have actually started on the film already. Several months ago, we knew that they were going to be hiring animators. We just didn't know exactly when that was going to come to fruition. I actually sent in my reel to apply for the position. My reel went through reviews. I actually got a phone call on my work phone. It was just from someone in one of the other buildings who called me back with the feedback from my reel review. I got some great feedback on my reel and some things to add before the final decisions were going to be made. Now, from my understanding, I had kind of two impressions for that. One was that they weren't quite ready to make any final decisions on people since it was so early in the process and also that my reel may not have been quite ready for them to just say a solid yes, considering there would be other applicants to consider who may surpass me. At least that was my understanding, and either way, I had a lot of hope, and it was really exciting. Now, if you've seen my whole story up until now, you know that in 2014, I made a short film that went to the Cannes Film Festival. At that festival, DreamWorks Animation had also presented How to Train Your Dragon 2 on the red carpet premiere, the whole thing, the world premiere of the film. I was in the theater with the cast and crew, not too far from the director and everybody else. We're here at the red carpet premiere of How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh, yeah. Good meeting. And, uh, and it totally changed my life. It was because of How to Train Your Dragon 2 
that I wanted to go be an animator. After seeing that film and meeting a few of the cast members just, you know, in the street afterwards by chance, I went back to my hotel, called my parents, I ended up leaving school where I was pursuing computer science to go all in on animation. After signing up for Animation Mentor, I did the whole 18 month program and worked obsessively towards my goal. Because I knew How to Train Your Dragon 2 was part of a trilogy and I wanted to be a part of the third movie. I don't know if I truly believed that I was going to get to DreamWorks Animation for that third movie, but I never told myself I wasn't going to. I just hoped that I would. And here I was only two years into my career in the animation industry, only three and a half years after deciding to pursue animation, I was presented with an opportunity to apply to How to Train Your Dragon 3 as an animator. I got some feedback on the first application and was told, we're going to be hiring pretty soon, get your stuff ready. Now here's where everything takes a turn, and not in a bad way, just hang in there. I'll never know whether or not I would have gotten that job at DreamWorks. I'll never know whether I would have gotten accepted as an animator on the How to Train Your Dragon 3 film. I think that if I'd continued working on my reel, kept pushing, kept doing shots, and applied to that position, I think I would have had a strong chance. I might have even gotten it. I don't know. Because here's what happened. It was the beginning of 2018, I had just made my video two years at DreamWorks Animation, and I was pretty much just considering my third year in the industry, my career, being at DreamWorks, all these amazing things, and I just spent a lot of time thinking about what was it that I wanted to be doing this year. I boiled down all the things I like to do the most and found the three things I'm the most passionate about. I like to create, I like to learn, and I like to teach. Which really worked out as a trainer where I was teaching and learning and creating curriculums and classes and, you know, materials to teach with and whatever. It was a great opportunity, obviously, and it fit right into that. And I thought about moving all that into the animation department and, like, what that was going to look like for me, and it was super exciting. However, the one thing that I couldn't get out of my head was that I got to DreamWorks so quickly. I got there way sooner in life than I ever thought was going to be possible. I never thought I'd be there so soon in my career. And I'm not complaining. I am so grateful for all of that. I thought about what would happen if I had been offered the job in animation. Obviously, I would have said yes and taken it immediately. And I would have stayed there for as long as possible because I'm sure I would have loved it. At a minimum, I would have been there for several years, period, if possible, of course. But I'd just gotten married. I had just started really getting into making stuff on this channel and creating stuff on YouTube. And I had a few opportunities to travel and go to some really cool places. Because of those things, I realized something. My wife and I talked about the fact that if I were to get the animation position at DreamWorks, we we're going to be there for a long time, and probably after a couple of years of being there, we would maybe have kids, like who knows, like, you know, life happens. And when that happens, we want to make sure that we're as stable and secure and like financially, like we just want to make sure we're good so that we can give our kids the best life when that time comes, because we want that to happen. There's also a whole lot of stuff we want to do that's really high risk and totally insane and crazy and unstable and not secure. There's a bunch of stuff we want to try that would just be irresponsible if we were starting a family, if we had kids if we had too many big obligations, a house, anything like that. So we decided to leave. My wife is already a full-time YouTuber. She does fashion, style, travel, a bunch of really cool stuff, and she wanted to do more of that. I also want to get more into this. I love the idea of creating independently, making my own stuff, and just sharing it with an audience to help you guys. The three things I like doing, create, learn, and teach. I get to do all of that for YouTube, and it really helps a lot of you guys out. And I really enjoy that. So we decided to take at least one year, pack everything up, cut all of our bills, try to get all of our responsibilities down to a minimum, to have at least one year of risk. To go all in on YouTube, freelance, and travel. The three things that we wanted to try that would be a little bit irresponsible to just kind of pick up and, well, let's just see what happens if we were starting a family, anything like that. But right now, why not? So nothing's changing in terms of animation. I'm still animating. I still want to be an animator. I still want to work in feature film. But right now my focus is just being on a full-time YouTube creator and freelancer slash travel vlogger, videographer, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what this is. We're just doing it. And when all the new DreamWorks movies come into theaters, you can bet that I'll be the first ticket sale, the first person sitting in those seats because I am so excited for the films they are coming out with. I'm really torn that I'm not a part of them because they're so amazing. All the new movies coming out, I can't obviously say anything about them, but they're great and I have nothing but love and support for all the people at DreamWorks. One day I hope to be back, but right now the focus is on traveling, creating, learning, teaching, and connecting with as many of you guys and as many other creators as I can in this year of risk. To say that it was a difficult decision would be a severe understatement, so let's just get that out of the way. This was hard to do. It's super scary. It's like completely terrifying, but I know it's the right decision. I'm excited for what's to come. I hope you are too, because I have a lot of stuff planned for you guys, a lot of cool things in store. But I'm not going to share it just yet, but I'm really excited, and I hope you are as well. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching this and my other videos. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in seeing more videos, what is to come, all the other stuff I have in store for you, don't forget to subscribe. And if you really don't want to miss it, YouTube doesn't tell everybody who's subscribed when a video happens. So if you actually don't want to miss the stuff, hit the notification button. I don't spam you with stuff, so don't worry about that. That way you'll actually get the notifications on when stuff actually comes out. And if I can ask one more thing of you, apparently the thumbs up actually makes a difference. So if you wouldn't mind hitting that, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.